Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at Hide, which is the Heaps integrated development environment. And it's a tool we can use to manage the resources for our Heaps games. And it allows us to have custom prefabs and custom editors for our games. So what this video is going to be showing you is how to build this project on Windows. So you can start making use of it because it's a really useful tool. First of all, I want to start by saying you don't have to build it. There is an option to use nightly builds. If you just go on the GitHub page, which will be in the description, and you just click here, there are nightly builds for each of these platforms. However, if for whatever reason you want to build it, then this video is going to show you how to do that. So first of all, we're going to go to this page and we're going to copy all of these commands. And then we're going to open a command terminal. And I use the Windows terminal, but if you have a regular command prompt, it will also work and I'm just going to paste these and it's just going to go and install them one by one. So now that all of these libraries have been installed to the newest versions, we can copy the git repository for hide. So we go here and we control C to copy the link and we're going to type git clone and then paste the link and then dot git. So you just let that run and it clones the repository for you. And by the way, for this step and for all of these steps above, you do need to have git installed and available in your path. I'll leave a link to the git website as well in case for whatever reason you haven't installed git yet. So now we're just going to go into the hide directory and we're going to run hacks hide.htxml. This will compile the project for us, so we just wait for this to finish. So that's finished now. If you had any errors in this step, then make sure that all of your libraries here are installed to the newest versions, and also make sure that your hacks is up to date. So now that we've finished compiling, we're going to have to get nwjs, which is the technology that Hide is built on top of, and it's kind of like Electron. It's essentially just a browser client and that allows Hide to be built using HTML, which really simplifies things for making plugins and styling those plugins and everything. So to install that, we just go back onto the GitHub page and there's a link here. And this just takes you to the NWJS page. So now, as you can see, there's two versions of this download. There's the normal version and the SDK version. And essentially what the difference is, is that the SDK version allows you to use the developer tools, which is like inspect element. And that can be really useful if you're creating a plugin or if you're editing the hide source code. So we're going to go for this version and we just save it. And then once the download's done, you just open the folder you downloaded it to and we extract the zip file. And we're just going to go into the hide folder and then bin. We're going to extract it right inside of this bin folder. So now that we've extracted everything inside of this bin folder, we're going to go to the folder it's been extracted to, which is this nwjs sdk folder. And we're just going to rename it to nwjs. And now if we run hide.cmd, so now as you can see the hide window has opened, so we've successfully built and installed hide. Now we're just going to have a look at this image, and if you have a problem and it's not loading, then what you can do is you can click on project, renderer, and then switch it to default. And you might have to restart the app. And usually that would fix um, any issues you have with resource loading because sometimes it's still a bit buggy so we're just going to have a look and as you can see we can look at 3d models and images as well so everything seems good now as a bonus another thing i'm going to show you is how to create a shortcut for hide on your desktop so we're actually going to open this um, hide.cmd file and we're going to use the command inside of here so what we do is we go onto the desktop and we're going to create a new shortcut. 
so we just go on new and then shortcut and now we need the location of hide so we're going to go into the file explorer and we're going to copy this path and now we're going to type slash nwjs slash nw.exe and now we're going to copy these parameters so we just paste them and then we click next and we're going to name it hide and then click finish and then we need to do a bit more so we're going to click on properties and actually we're going to open this in the bin folder because that's where all the default resources are located and we can also change the icon so we're just going to click that and we're going to click browse and then we're going to go into bin and then resources and then we have the hide.ico file so we're just going to use that apply okay and now if we close hide and we reopen it through the shortcut now you may get a warning saying that it's an unrecognized app and that's okay that's just because not a lot of people use it so if you want to check with your antivirus that it's safe you can and then you can just click more info and then run anyway and one last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add it to our star menu so that it shows up here and the way we do that is we click the windows button and r and then we're going to type percentage sign app data percentage sign backslash microsoft backslash windows backslash start menu and we're just going to open this and we go into programs and then we're going to go back onto our desktop we're going to copy this hide shortcut And we're just going to paste it inside of here. So I hope this helps you get started with using Hide because it's a really useful tool and unfortunately it's not very well documented. So I hope you found this useful. In the future I may make more Hide videos to show how to make simple plugins. However that's all for now. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video and goodbye.